just in general, what's the probability of landing on the color group? If you're interested in that probability. And if you want a general overview, uh, player money and uh, and positions. This will tell you how much money each player has, how much money they get per roll on average, how much money they get on per turn, money per turn on average, and money that they collect per go on average. And it tells you where they all currently are located every time it gives you a snapshot of where the game is being, where the game is at. And I'll, all the only thing I haven't mentioned on the stats, besides that you can view the stats of each player. Everything from uh, how much money they get, how much money per go, number of rolls that they that they rolled on the dice, number of turns, number of times they pass go. It's all that's all there. Um, get property information. You can go down each property. This one's kind of neat. It tells you where. Uh, if you could look at every single chance community chess card, this is this is what they would all look like. I'll slow it down so you can kind of see. You take the top one, you put it on the bottom one. That, that's how it's working. And that's how the game is supposed to be played. So I, I took all that into account. A few other little rules I took into account too. For example, uh, after you get out of jail, if you roll a double, you don't keep rolling as because that's that's the only time where you can roll. You roll double and you don't get the move again. If you rolled out a double to get out of jail. You don't roll again because you had the double. That's the one case where you don't do it. And I also took into account, uh, like, I always thought that um, when you landed on, a, like, a utility, uh, that you had to roll again, and that and you give them four or ten times the amount of dice on those. I did not know that you were supposed to just go by uh, what was already on the dice. I didn't know that. So unless, unless you land on uh, one of those chance cards or community chess cards that say uh, advanced token to the use utility, then in that case you do roll again. So I didn't. I didn't know these little rules. I tried to take every little rule into account. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna restart this now. Um, give it fast. Another thing that that general probability, like in this book I, I heard about called the Monopoly Companion, it tries to pinpoint the odds of each thing happening. It doesn't take there there are various things that 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 doesn't take into account. I think it's speaking generally, but there are there are things that you would get from this program that you wouldn't get from that book. For example, uh, number of players does impact how much you make on average going around the board. Because for example, uh, the community chess cards or the uh, um, or the, or the community chess cards or the chance cards where it says like pay each player fifty dollars if you have lots of players that's gonna on average be more costly to you so it's gonna affect the amount of cash you make per per uh, per turn So uh, this is where we left off. I, I'm making this go a lot faster. That's why the tokens are flickering all over the place. Uh, I'm even going to make it go faster because the more simulations you're on, the more meaningful the numbers. I'm sorry I'm talking so much. There's so much to talk about in this program. I don't know if I can get it all out in 10 minutes. Hopefully I can. Okay. Uh, so I gave... All I did was give player one ownership of these these uh, three red properties. There's also other statistics you can put down like how many times they've been landed on by all the players, how many times it's landed on per go per, for all the players, and per per roll for all the players. Okay. Um, so right now the player one, just owning just owning the red property, everybody else doesn't own anything they are making about three hundred and five dollars per turn uh, now the other players are on average are making hundred and fifty three dollars per turn that's about what they all are okay 
So on average, all the players are making money each turn. Now, if I if I were to add, okay, let's give let's place a hotel on each of these. You do that by right clicking. I shouldn't say that's the only way to do it. There's several ways. Okay, one is right clicking right on the board here, which I think is the most convenient way. And you can see it changed the red. Now I didn't uh, I didn't try to enforce the rules about balanced housing where you gotta have this roughly the same number of houses or hotels on each property. The reason I don't do that is because I know everybody doesn't play by the rules, so it, it allows you to kind of enforce your own rules when you put input your your moves into this board. Okay, um, I'm gonna restart it by restarting by pressing OK or pressing run again it does reset all the variables so by changing it midstream like that it's going to affect if it affects the outcome a little bit it takes longer to get accurate numbers so press r press run again when you change something I press it again you can see the number of turns goes back down to zero and it allows you to reset all the variables in the program so now that I got a hotels on on a uh, on those three red properties, considering there's eight players, which does affect the amount of you're collecting money from eight people now, which makes your income on average a lot bigger than it would be if it were only like two players. So, um, on average, I'm making ne nearly four thousand dollars just on one property that's owned, whereas the other players, on average, are losing three hundred and fifty dollars on average. Okay, now the other ways to add hotels. Okay, I'm going to take away hotels now. You can do it by right clicking on, on in this part of the program. Gives you the same options. Now I take away no houses. Okay, uh, I think that describes all the basic stuff. Now if you want to alter the values, they c it can be done here. If you want to alter the statistics just to mess around or if you if you have a different version of Monopoly, for example, luxury tax, I bought a version of Monopoly where the the tax is a hundred dollars, whereas in every other version of Monopoly I've ever played, it's always been seventy-five. Well, you can change that here. So if I make this a hundred instead of seventy-five, now it's just a hundred dollars. And you can verify that by going here in the stats. And property information, $100 it says. If you want to change just for the heck of it, change how much people get for pass and go, you can do that. Um, change the cost, what it costs per house. I don't think I really had a point to putting that. I don't think that really affects the program at all by changing the cost per house. Not. I even put it. This is only the first version of the program, so I'm likely to put other things in here. Allows you to. You can also change the owner of the property. So for where I was, uh, if we change the, uh, let's change uh, right now. I'm going to take away the hotel on. Indiana Avenue so you can do that here too instead of right-clicking if I don't know why you'd want to but you can do it here as well so there's three ways I, I made it pretty pretty flexible for the user Indiana Avenue so upgrade stats I have it set to hotel you just click on the drop box here and say not built on now the hotel is no longer there what's cool about it is if you if you uh you can see the changes in the rent. Like right now, it says rent paid sixteen, right? Give give them another ones. It's fourteen and sixteen. Another piece of that property by owning all three of the same color, it doubles it doubles the amount of rent you got to pay to that player. And you could add houses to it. Changes it shows you the new rent costs in real time. <coughs> Okay, I briefly went through all the programs, <coughs> all the options on this program to give you an idea. Uh, I think that's everything in the program. I'll let you guys play with it now.
I don't honestly I, I just kind of got obsessed with this program I put a lot of detail into it I made, made it nearly crash proof I haven't been able to crash it yet but it's pretty stable and I took a lot of time to make sure it didn't have any bugs I'm sure that if there are any bugs feel free to let me know but I made I was pretty careful to make sure all the bugs were out of this all right see you later